In this video, we're going to talk about how you can use the reciprocal method to allocate the cost of multiple support departments when those support departments provide services to one another. And I'm going to show you a shortcut using linear equations that allow you to very quickly calculate the amount of cost allocation. So let's say we've got an example firm with two operating divisions. And so you provide mountaineering guide service and kayaking guide service, right? This is an adventure company. You've got two support divisions, right? So you've got HR providing support to the mountaineering and kayaking uh, divisions. And then you've got administrative staff that also provide support. But here's the catch. These support divisions provide services to one another as well. So we need to figure out how to allocate those costs. HR has 30,000 in costs and then the administrative staff has 40,000 in costs. So what we can do is as follows. First of all, we have to calculate and say, okay, how much of HR's resources are used by the mountaineering, kayaking, and administrative staff divisions, okay? So if we count by the number of hours, we can say, okay, there's a total of 20,000 hours of HR that is used, and 12,000 of that is from the mountaineering, 4,000 is used by kayaking, and 4,000 by administrative, right? So we could set those up as proportions and say mountaineering, for example, uses 12 20th, right? 12,000 divided by 20,000. So 12 out of 20, 60% of the total cost of HR is, is used by the mountaineering and so forth. And we could go on and on and I won't, I won't belabor the point here. And similarly for administrative staff. Now, here's a way that we can quickly calculate this though. If we think about it, if we set up HR and the administrative staff, we could set it up as two equations, right? So here I've got two equations and this H H is going to be the HR costs, and then A will be the administrative staff, right? Those costs here. So HR costs are equal to 30,000 plus one quarter of A, one quarter of the administrative costs. Why one quarter of the administrative? Okay, well, if we add up the total amount of costs for administrative, or hours, excuse me, it's 40,000 hours. Human resources uses 10,000 of those hours. All right, so one out of four is the same as 0.25. So basically using 25% of the administrative staff resources are being used by the HR department. And HR has 30,000 in costs. So we say the HR's department is the 30,000 in costs pre-allocation plus one quarter of the administrative staff's costs, right? Because we're allocating, we're gonna allocate that out. Similarly, administrative staff costs are the pre-allocation of 40,000, right? And then we're adding one-fifth of the HR costs, which is the 4,000 hours used by the admin staff divided by the 20,000, okay? So now we can go about, we could just solve these equations. This is a number of ways you can start it. Uh, so you don't feel you have to do it this way as long as we get to the same answer. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the top one, H equals 30,000. Plus, and now I'm going to put 0.25, but now instead of A, I'm going to plug in this, right? This is A because we know that A is equal to 40,000 plus 2H. So here I'm going to put 40,000 plus 0.2H. Hope you can see that there. I want to make sure I leave plenty of space for us. Okay, so now let's just, let's just use algebra here. So we go H equals 30,000. And then I just, 0 0.25 times 40,000 is 10,000, okay? And then 0 0.25 times 0.2H is gonna be 0.05H, okay? That's an H, oh, sorry, that's an H there, okay? Now, we go and we can say, okay, well, if we subtract this 0.05H from each side, Right, this H is the same as like 1H, right? So if we subtract 0.05H, that gives us 0.95H, right? Equals, and then that's gonna be equal to, I'll just add the 30,000 and oh, 10,000 together, that's 40,000, right? So here's where I get the 40,000, and then I just subtract that 0 0.05 from each side, and it gives us 0.95H over here, all right? And now we get divide each side by 0.95, right? And that'll give us H. So H is going to be $42,105, okay? Now, let's calculate A, which is the administrative end, right? So, 
now let's see here what are we going to have we are going to have let, let me change colors here make it clear so a equals 40,000 plus 0.2 h okay equals 40,000 plus 0.2 and then we're going to plug in for h because we already solved for h 42,105 okay now equal to 40,000 and then if we just multiply this out we get 8,421 and then that equals 48,421 that's a okay so now we know a and we also know h okay so now what we can do is we can use those proportions that we calculated before right remember we said okay like so this is this 12,000 divided by 20,000 so 12 20th we can multiply that by the amount for hr this is 42,105 right that's the amount that needs to get allocated 42,105 and then there's going to be this 4,000 4 out of 20 so we're gonna have 4 out of 20 times 42,105 and then 4 out of 20 times 42,105 Okay, and those numbers here. Let me. Uh, uh, we're, I'm running out of space here. I apologize. I should have done this better. But what this is going to come out to is we're going to have 25,263 of HR is going to be allocated to mountaineering. 8,421 of kayaking is going to be, or HR is going to be allocated to kayaking, and then 8,421 of HR is going to be allocated to administrative staff. Now you might be thinking, hey, we're allocating $42,105 in costs of HR, but HR only had $30,000. But remember, this $30,000 is pre-allocation, right? So this number is going to be higher than the pre-allocation amount because we're taking into consideration that HR and the administrative staff, they are providing services to one another, okay? Now, we use this, this $48,421, we can use that to allocate now the administrative staff component. All right. So we're going to have, let's see here. We're going to have, this will be, the mountaineering will be 15 divided by 40 times 48,421. Okay. And that's going to be 18,158. So that's the amount of administrative staff costs allocated to mountaineering. Now it's going to be the same amount allocated to kayaking service because look, kayaking has 15,000 hours and mountaineering has 15,000 hours. So they're both 15 divided by 40. So that's also going to be 18,158. And then HR, HR is going to be 10 divided by 40 times 48,421, which is going to be $12,105. Now if you add up, is 12,105, 18,158, and 18,158, it's going to give you $48,421, right? So that's just a check to make sure you did it right. And what that means is that we've allocated it from the administrative staff $48,421 in costs that was divided in this manner among HR, mountaineering, and kayak.